Let's say we have a curve of f of x and we have the x-intercept of 0, a and b. In order to find the area between the curve and x axis, we're going to shade the region first with blue color and green color. And we're going to learn how to write the notations by using definite integrations. For the green color regions, we can say that the area can be counted by the integration of the curve functions and the boundary is from 0 to a with respect to x. Why we say with respect to x is because we're going to slice the area under the curve with a lot of rectangles that are bounded to the x-axis like this. This is why we say is respect to x. Meanwhile, for the blue color regions, we can write down as the integration of the functions from a to b with respect to x because we're going to cut the area under the curve with a lot of the rectangles that is bounded to the x-axis. Since we're bound to the x-axis, so the area of the regions above the x-axis will be always positive. Meanwhile, the area below the x-axis will always be negative. Let's look at one example. When we have function like this, we are more curious about where do they intersect with the x-axis. In order to find the interceptions, we can let y is equivalent to 0. And then we're going to use the zero product property where we say that either one of the term here becomes zero, it will automatically become zero because why? Whatever times zero will give you zero. This is why we can say that x is equal to zero, or x minus one is equal to zero, or x minus two is equal to zero. If you solve for x, we will get zero, one, and two. Those are the x in the set where we can just plug it in. After that, we're going to expand our function first so that it's easier for us to do the integration to find the area under the curve. We're going to do the bracket behind first. We have x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2. And then we group the like terms x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then we times with the x in front. This is why we have x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x. So after we write down, this is our new equations. Now, we're going to find area under the curve from 0 to 1, 1 to 2. We separate to become two regions because one is going to be positive and one is going to be negative. Now, if we're going to look at the green color one first, we can just write down as the area for the green color is going to take the integration of these functions from 0 to 1 with respect to x because we're bound to the x as this. Then what is our y? Our y is just going to be x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x dx, like this. Then after that, we're going to set integrations. x cubed power increased by 1 become 4 divided by 4 minus 3x cubed divided by the new power, which is 3 plus 2x squared over 2. But there's no c, y? Because this is the definite integrals, but instead we have the upper limit and lower limit, like this. Then after that, we're going to substitute in our upper limit minus the lower limit. So upper limit, we have 1 power 4, here we have 4, minus 1 cubed plus 1, minus the lower limit, but we know when everything is 0, it's just 0. So this is why we have something like this. And if you plug into the calculators, or if you don't want to use calculator, you can just count it. 1 over 4 minus 1 plus 1, which is equivalent to 1 over 4 minus 0. This is why we have 0 0.25 units square. And this answer is for the green color regions. But don't forget about the blue color regions. So now we're going to find the integration of y functions from 1 to 2. And what is our y? It's just the equations. Substitute in do the integrations and take the upper limit minus the lower limit like just now, we get the answer of negative 0 0.25. But we know area is always positive. We cannot take area as a negative. This is why we use modulus functions to make the answer to become positive. So remember when you have the answer is negative, you always use the modulus functions to turn it to become positive. So now we have the green color and the blue color. So we can say that the area under the curve from 0 to 2 is even since 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.5. One of the common mistakes is when we take the area of the curve 
from 0 to 2 straight away. If you need to break it down, it's because this one is a positive region and this one is a negative region. If you do it straight away, eventually they will cancel out each other. Let me show to you, if you do it the same way, take the equations, integrate it from 0 to 2, upper limit minus lower limit, eventually we have the answer of 0 unit square. This is why when we are bounded to the x axis and we have one is upper region, one is lower region, we always need to separate it and look at where is the hinge that we change the region from upper to lower and we're going to do it individually. Hey, if you have any questions or like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more video like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.